Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. This is episode 22, but it is episode one of our third club. So as I mentioned last time, we are at Hammerby IF. Um, look, I'm just going to be up front with you, and I've told you this every time we've switched clubs. The names are going to kill me in this one the pronunciations uh, yeah I, i'm gonna do them phonetically and pray for the best and hey if you know how to pronounce them i don't mind taking a little bit of constructive criticism or direction but at the end of the day i'm, I'm not gonna really care a whole lot but i mean i'll at least look at it and try to learn a little bit but yeah, it, it's it's going to be brutal, and we'll just deal with it and move on. So, Hammerby, I can pronounce that. I think it's at least close to being right. Swedish Premier Division, good with that. Oh, you know what? I forgot to look up. Hold on, let me look it up now. <laughs> Bear with me. Bear with me. I am doing a quick Google search. Oh, wait a minute. What? Okay, the official language is Swedish. Okay, so you're Swedish if you're from Sweden and you also speak Swedish. That's good. But they also <laughs> All right, you they also speak Finnish. Mankili I think I got that close to right. Tornadol. And the Sami languages, Romani and Yiddish. Yiddish is a, um, isn't that a Jewish type language? I know, I know with Jewish things, I've heard Yiddish, uh, like the Yiddish slang and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, anyway, moving on. All right, so tactic-wise, I've brought in, uh, I brought back the uh, 442 Volante that looks like that. I've brought in the 433 that looks familiar from recently, and I brought back the 4231 primarily because the club does have a lot of wingers now. And they're most familiar with this tactic. They're not great at it, but, you know, we'll, we'll make do. Now, if they are able to... If they are able to play this well and it gets some results, we may stick with it and re-sign some of these wingers. Uh, if they don't, I will be more than happy to go back into the 4-3-3. If you look at it, we've got 10 central midfielders. Seven strikers. I think that's great for what we're looking to do. Uh, we've got these wingers that and the central mid, uh, attacking central. If I don't play the four two three one, those guys are just going to rot, and that's too many bodies right now. So anyway, let's go to. Uh, so we're all right. I haven't even seen the kit yet. That is not the actual logo, and I think in a lot of these second and third tiers, SI did not put in real logos. They just kind of winged it. Um, that's not the real logo. But, okay, because I've looked it up, and it's actually now part of the uh, little journeyman teaser that goes at the very beginning of the video. Right, It's right up there. It's the third one now. Um Anyway, we are we're even favorites, inconsistent, but we've got two draws and a win. And we've got four matches left in the season. <laughs> Go figure. All right. I have uh I have fired my assistant manager. Uh I have hired a new assistant manager. Actually, the general manager that came with the club hired a new assistant manager for me because I think the first six guys that I wanted to hire all wanted like Eighty to two hundred thousand dollars more than I could even offer. So, all right, we are playing at home in the Tele Two Arena. 
Uh, let's look at some of the players real quick. This is gonna, you know, we'll we'll do this. It may be a little long if we do two two uh, games, but uh, let's go. Let's start. A 21 year old Romanian, Adrian Petrie, uh, is up top. He's our number 10. Uh, average pace and acceleration, good natural fitness, work rates, meh. Determination is real good. So he's got some okay mentals. First touch is decent. Finishing is okay. At least I'm assuming they are. We haven't seen, you know, any of this in action, of course. Uh, we have, uh, all right, you start throwing the little dashes and dots, and I know they're accent things, but on your Smarson, Smarson, just a guess. He's from Iceland. Cool. 27 caps for the Iceland national team. Actually, I had applied for a job with a couple of clubs in Iceland and was hoping to get one, but eh. All right, so again, he is a winger by trade, but we're playing him up here. First touch is a 13. Long shots is a 14. Passing is a 12. He's got some pace, no acceleration. Uh, okay, above average decision-making. Determination's a 12. Vision's a 13. Again, I, I don't know how these guys match up with other teams. I don't know what good ratings are for this level. That'll be something I just have to figure out as we go. Uh, 28-year-old uh, vice captain, actually. I just named him vice captain. Yalon Hamad, I think. He's from Sweden. Okay. Uh, he is a right winger. Uh, inside forward is what we're playing there. So good pace, acceleration. He's right-footed. Crossing's good. Dribbling's good. First touch is good. Technique is good. So he could be productive for us here. On the left side is Swedish, 24-year-old Swede, Muammar Tankovic. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> now, he's actually really good at inside forward. Pretty good physicals there. Oh, my God. Somebody that can actually take a penalty shot. Good Pace and acceleration look good. Determination, flair. Work rate could be better. We have a Canadian. I can't sign a Canadian in England to save my life. Actually, I can't sign anybody in England outside of, you know, Europe to save my life. But that's a different story. Three caps for the Canucks. And uh, he is a central mid. Box to box, I believe, we're playing him. Not much in the way of shooting. First touch is decent. Do not want him taking long shots, I hope. Um, really good physicals, some decent pace. So we'll see what he brings. Serge, and I'm sure it's not junior, but you, you, you yeah, or something like that. Serge junior Martinson, Naguli, Naguali, something like that. All right. But we'll just call him Serge or SJ. I don't know. <laughs> We'll figure that out. All right. He is, uh, again, pretty good physicals, pace, fitness, decision-making, determination, work rate. I'd like to see that. Tackling and decent passing as well. And he'll be a central mid. We've got uh, our left back is Patrick Capozo. He's uh, from uh, Ghana. No, uh, oh, U20 cap for the Ghana U20 club. Good pace, acceleration, crossing, dribbling. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking him. I think he'll be a solid defender. On the other side, we've got uh, a 23-year-old Swede, Henrik Kastegren. Ooh, I actually put some pronunciation uh, accents and stuff in there. Maybe I got it right. If not, somebody will yell at me at some point, I'm sure. Uh, good jumping reach, good physicals, tackling, marking, heading. He could actually, oh, he's a he's actually a pretty decent center back, to be fair. Um, pace, stamina, acceleration. Yeah, he's not going to be the greatest guy out wide. Do we have anybody else we could play there? Ah, uh, okay. Eric, Eric Lindell is actually better out there, but he is out with... 
knee tendonitis. That's not good for a footballer. Three to five weeks. I have shoulder tendonitis and it sucks. And and I don't do anything. <laughs> I mean, I you know, I mean, I work and everything, but you know, whatever. All right. Um, and then we go inside a 28 year old Dane. Yeah, the only Dane I'm real familiar with is Lars Ulrich. This guy's got to be cooler than Lars, although he doesn't play in Metallica. So that's a strike against him. <laughs> Bjorn Paulson, central mid, good heading, marking, tackling, determination, work rate. Oh, I'm liking that. Jumping reach, wow, strength. Pace, a little low on the acceleration. I would like that to be a little better. He's 28, so he's not going to get any better. Probably look for an upgrade there at some point. And then we've got uh, pace, acceleration. So he's a pacier back. Marking, tackling, heading, jumping. An another Dane. Wow. Okay. Mads Finger. 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 I'm going to call him Finger just because. Um, yeah, so he looks all right. Oh, my God. It's, it's like a little circle i've seen the the umlauts with two dots like on low and brow and motley crew rock on but I, you know i haven't seen one is that like half an accent <laughs> low and brew uh brute vilt brute weight? i don't know does that i don't know if that changes the pronunciation at all uh pair christian brute weight? yeah pair <laughs> hopefully he doesn't have a body like a pear i've got one of those uh but he is our number one keeper right footed one oh pretty good on one-on-ones passing reflexes could be a little better but he's not horrible and he's got good potential so 16 goals allowed in 20 that's a hell of a lot better than our keeper trumpeter last year uh who was giving up like two to three a game it looked like but hey trumpeter did the job for us right all right um he's a striker and eh, auto number we do not have a lot of depth at all so we'll deal with that all right let's play all right we are Oh, Ostersons, that's uh, one of the clubs we interviewed with, and I actually the first one. But we're in green. We're in the green kit. You can certainly, uh, hey, it's a Christmas match, green and, uh, green and red. Keeping in mind our players are not familiar with these tactics in the least, they will probably botch it up, and it will probably cost us matches. But maybe some, some of, you know, pure raw talent will prevail oh uh, come on come on the shot all right so we get the first shot of the game goes over the goal everybody looks composed let me know what you guys think about this setup do you like it do you not like it i just changed that last uh the last video with uh steenberg um yeah i thought it gave a little more information but whatever all right Capozo. Head it out. Tankovic. Oh, Hamad. Yalon Hamad. The first goal of my tenure. That'll go down in the trivial pursuit questions. Gotta like that. I'm assuming that's an I. And if it's a double L, that's cool. I know the double L has a special pronunciation. I don't know what it is. I didn't say that real loud, so maybe you didn't hear it. But, you know, I just didn't want want to, you know, I didn't want to embarrass myself. I think it sounds like a W. Is Am I imagining that? But uh, I don't know. All right, Capozo. I had a Capozo on another club, didn't I? Maybe. All right, we look to be controlling 60-40. Oh, come on, man. I have sent my scouts down to uh, South Africa to uh, to scout my two old strikers. Uh, Bell is actually injured for about six weeks, so I did not scout him. 
Oh, place it. Place it. Come on. Oh. You know, is it just me or are none of these guys... Pause, 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 pause. <clears throat> is it... <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at the names and I'm going, <clears throat> none of those names look recognizable. All right. Well, yeah, I guess. I guess I'm just not used to him because I'm like, I don't remember that dude. Who is that? <laughs> All right. It, it's first game stuff, I guess. You know, give me a little while and I'll, I'll get to know him. But yeah, I'm like, I thought I had another guy playing center mid. <laughs> All right, let's get some ball movement here. Oh, a nice little carry. Oh, through ball, but we didn't. Who's that? Who's that? Hamad. All right, that's just in familiarity. Didn't make the run. Oh, cheeky heel kick. Oh, there's a run. Tankovic. Probably Tankovic, but Tankovic, the tank. We're up 2 nothing. We're going to win. We're going to win. You know what movie that was from? I'll throw out movie references every once in a while. I try not to make a habit of it because, you know, maybe you'll think it's stupid. Nobody ever answered the one from the other day. Could be because that video hasn't got posted yet. I told you guys I'm doing a lot of recording this week, uh, the week of Christmas and New Year's, in preparation of getting back to work. So uh, actually getting ready to go watch the Orange Bowl here in a little while. 14 to 1 on shots, 5 on target. Eh. That would put us up to 7th, and it would cut our goal differential to minus 4. I think we're doing okay. We appreciate your efforts. Much appreciation to you. All right, Capozo kickoff highlight. Don't narrate it because nothing ever happens. They said they were not expecting a big crowd, but holy crap, there's bodies in the stands. That's that's pretty impressive for me. All right, there's a through ball to Hamad. Crossed in. Oh, Kita just stole the ball away from Petrie. Now, Petrie, I'm not going to be able to change my pronunciation because I am uh, of French Acadian ancestry. Um, yes, if you've watched uh, some of the TV shows on discovery channel and whatnot i am a cajun uh and very proud of it rightfully so damn it but uh there's actually petries that are from oh oh and he ah he missed it oh my god how the hell did he miss that nobody moved he was by himself wide open net all he had to do was oh my god all right i'm i'm yeah, I'm not related to him. <laughs> he sucks. How did you miss that? Oh, that was a brutal miss. Huge mistake, and we couldn't capitalize. You know our Steenberg boys would have been all over that. Oh, my God. All right, they're showing off. Look at the heel kicks and stuff. What's the deal? Yeah, don't do that. Oh, off the woodwork. Cleared out. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and make a sub. Let's see some of our other guys in action. A potential upper body injury. What do you do? Get hurt in warm-ups? Because that's like a new injury potential. Really? 25 years old. Yeah. Oh, man, is that guy Brazilian? Where's he? Yeah, he's Brazilian. Oh my God, I have a Brazilian on my team. Is he any good? He doesn't suck. What's he play? Striker. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to put you in for Petrie because he upset me with that wide open miss. He needs a rest anyway. All right. Um, I think Rebin Assad is my captain. He's Iraqi. Can't be my captain. Could be, I guess. Uh, what does he play? Mid center. Oh, <laughs> Padiba. Oh, 
He's got a rap on the side, right? 15 caps for Gambia? He's got to be a rapper on the side. Pa Dibba. Oh, that's awesome. That is a cool-ass name. I'm going to play him just to just to see what he's like. Oh, that's incredible. Um, he can play... Yeah, you're going in right there. What the hell? Do it. Do it. <laughs> pa Dibba. That's... And I can pronounce that one. That's incredible. All right. Nothing happening. Those guys are not making an impact. All right. Who else do I want to look at? A defender. You know, I really don't have any defensive subs. That's a little alarming. That's very alarming. How does my assistant coach not put a single defensive player? All right, let's bring in Assad. Looks like coffee needs a, I think that's coffee. We'll do that. All right, we've got a new midfielder. Do something. Give me a highlight. It's been a blah second half. And we get four minutes of extra blah. Oh, wait, no, their highlight. Over the net. All right. Can he get the goal kick out before? No, he cannot. That just put the icing, the little cherry right on top of the blah Sunday. But we got a win. And we took 20 shots. That's pretty awesome. I will take that. You don't need to address anything. Why? I think we need to tell them they did. Hey, hey, a thoroughly professional job. Well done. Oh, I sounded like a manager there. Hell yeah. All right, let's finish the day. Take a look at where we're at. Oh, quality of possession. Motherwell. Is that on our team? Yes, it is. Why are you checking out my 31-year-old Icelandic dude? He is 31. Wanted by Motherwell. He's 31. And he plays a winger. And he's mostly a bench player. And he's worth 475. Um, you know what? I, I'm 475. He's hold on. Before I do anything crazy. All right, there's three games left. We, we played 27, and we're in seventh place. Yes, we're three points above mid-table. We're living up to expectations already. Um, okay, so three, three games left in 30, right? 30 matches. Is there anything weird here as far as like split seasons and weird shit like that? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. All right. And so he is, let's go back to him. All right. So he is under contract until next year. All right. You know what? If Motherwell's interested, I will try to get them to bite. Let's go, let's go 550. And percentage of next sale, 10%. Offer to clubs. All right, well, good start. All right, let's 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 come back here in just a minute. We, uh, we will play Helsingborgs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll play that team. Uh, they're 12th in the table. And uh, I will see you guys back here in a minute. All right, guys, we are back for our next match with Helsingborg, Helsingborgs IF. I don't know what IF stands for. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments because we're an IF too. 
in vitro fertilization. I'm thinking that's not right, but you know, I, I don't know. I've heard of FC. I've heard of AFC. All right. Yeah. IF don't know. BK is bankruptcy. I probably not right there either. All right. Uh, let's see. Quick look. So we are in seventh. I've already done some business. Uh, let's see. All right. Who the hell is that? Oh, that, okay. That's the guy we're letting go. Arnor Smarison. He's 31. Motherwell had an interest in him. They came in. Uh, he's valued at 475. I'm still, I'm, you know, it takes a little while to kind of get a feel for how people are going to, you know, where, where the valuations are. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I asked for 400 or, or something and we ended up coming to an agreement at 450. He's a winger. He's not going to play much for me. He can fit that center mid. He's not very good at it. And he, to be fair, he's fifth or sixth on the depth chart and he's 31. So there's the door, buddy. Uh, he will be leaving, uh, January 1st when the season officially ends, and uh, good. I mean, I hope he gets some some uh, playing time. Uh, we have put an offer out on this guy, Christopher Zakalasen. Zach uh, yeah, I don't know. Christopher, uh, I'm pretty sure I got that right. Uh, he is a defensive mid and a central mid. Looks like he'll be pretty pacey, good acceleration, really good natural fitness, so he'll have a long career. Really good work rate, determination. Uh, tackling should be above average. Passing will be really good. First touch will be really good. And uh, marking will be at least average workable. So uh, he's a Norwegian from up here in the Scandinavian area, right? Scandinavia, That's uh, I, I had to look that up too. So learning a lot, but hey, you know, educate me on this area if you're from there or have been there or know people that are there. I'm always interested to expand my boundaries a little bit. So help me out. Uh, so yeah, he accepted the deal. Well, actually, we've made the offer yesterday or day before. So since the last match, I'm expecting he'll, he will accept it and he will be uh, on the way probably the same thing, January 1st. All right, let's get into the match preview. We are one to three favorites. Heavy favorites. We are on the. We're at home, so back to back home games, fifteen thousand five eighty four. So, yeah, about half the stadium. That's fine. Um, you know, I'm wondering if I really want to go away from that. Should I? Should I try this? I'm gonna have to develop these guys for this tactic. You know. But the, I at least have guys that can play false nine. And we're doing okay here. A lot of attacking. And I guess with the with the wingbacks attacking and the wide mids attacking, it's this uh, anchor that kind of drops back and gives you basically a three-back line, I guess. Um, this appears to work, but I didn't have the people for it when we tried it at Steenberg. Uh, so... What the hell? Let's give it a shot. I mean, they can't they can't screw it up too bad, right? I mean, we're competent in just about everything. How are we doing here? Still awkward. See, we were still awkward with the passing style there. So you know what? Yeah. Let's let's go for it. We're gonna go ahead and pick without restriction again. All right, Petrie again. Ugh. All right. I do want to make sure. Oh, did they add that? Nice. All right, striker, striker, defensive center, mid center, mid right left. Is that who I want? Um, Reben Assad is, oh, he's on loan to Western Sydney. Yeah, I just sent him out. Uh, I did send him out on loan. He was like fifth or sixth in the depth chart as well. Padiba, finishing first touch, pace. 
He's got really good pace. 30, 32. That's a shame. He, he won't be around long because I'm going to get rid of him, right? <laughs> um, dang, you know what? I am going to put... What's oh, Petrie? 12, 13. Yeah. And he's better mentally. 10 goals in 22. But boy, he botched that shot last match. All right, I'm going to give him one more game before I just completely lose all faith in him. All right, who else do we have down here? You know, I want to look at... Let me look at the U21 squad, because honestly, I haven't looked at that yet. Is there anybody... No, that's the same people, right? Hello? All right, well... Let me go squad. Oh, there's my U21s. Okay, there we go. All right, ability. Where's he at? He's on loan. All right. He look, these two guys, he's on loan too. All right. So nobody needs to come up. Boy, that striker looks good. Is he, is he worth a damn? Not yet, but he's getting there. Good work rate and determination. I think that kid could be pretty good. Can I put you on a tutoring program? Um, man, we'll let the Brazilian tutoring. All right. That kid looks like he could be all right. I got a little bit of potential. I got some good potential players here, don't I? Just not yet. A lot of them are out on loan. All right, so... Um, let's go back, back. Is there anybody else I want to bring up here? Injured five days, injured three weeks. No. Defensive right. What do you look like? Marking, passing. Tackling is not so great. Mid center. Marking's horrible. Romulo. God, I got to give this guy a start, man. I want to give Pa Dibba a start. All right, we're going to bring Pa Dibba in for him. There you go. All right, Dibba's in the lineup. We'll give it a shot. I'm probably going to, you know, if they if they really struggle with this tactic, I'm going to probably go away from it until I can get people trained up. I'd like to give it a try because it looks like it could be really good. But, you know. Again, I know next to nothing about this game. So, we'll just wing it. All right, kickoff highlight. Seven seconds in and we haven't scored. Oh, the tank crossed in. Petrie! Oh my God, a kickoff highlight and a goal. Petrie's my hero. You're the man, Petrie. I don't care what that other guy said about you a little while ago. He's an idiot. <laughs> Was not expecting the kickoff highlight. Oh, look at the tank. Nice cross. Petrie with the left footer. Nice. Oh, he's got a mohawk. Cool. I would not wear one. And I don't sport the bald look well, so I, I go with hair. That's just me, though. You know, I don't I don't judge other people. Oh, Capozo. Dibba. Oh, Dibble with a header on target. Just over the net. We've had one half chance. All right, they've got shot and they're on the board. Dolph Lundgren. Oh, uh, okay. The AE combination, that's different. Uh, Petrie, Petrie's dragging it outside. Oh, uh, he was looking for Dibba. He tried to give Dibba. Oh, look at that. The tank. Oh, that guy's a st Stud, man. That guy's a stud. 
What a finish. They're not going to do a replay of that? And he didn't get credit. What happened? Oh, uh, a disallowed goal, but it doesn't tell me why. Must have been offsides. That's too bad because that was a good finish. You see offsides again? No, but it's a corner. Oh, that's too bad. The tank. The tank was judged. Dibba. Oh, I thought we were going into the box and they cut the highlight. That's horrible. Oh, well. Looking confident, having a good... Petrie's having a good game. Very nice. Uh, is that a penalty? Is it on them? Oh, it's on us. Oh, damn it. And he got a yellow card. Damn it. Oh, the keeper looked stupid. But i Oh, and, and SJ, Serge Jr. got booked. Oh, yeah, he jumped way before the ball. So if he would have missed, the keep, the ref could have called improper movement by the keeper and given him another shot. Oh, that's horrible. Not good. All right, we're 9-3, to 10-3, 6 on target, 3 half chances, 1 clear cut. Oh, Hamad. Oh, the tank dropped it down. Oh, that was a great save by their keeper. Got to give credit where credit's due. All right, so we're actually playing pretty well. Really controlling possession. So, uh, you know, I think the tactic could work. I just, you know. Now, here's the thing. If I go with this tactic, right? We've got, well, actually, this doesn't have attacking wingers. It has wide mids, and I don't have a lot of those. So I've still got to adjust what I'm doing and what kind of players I'm going after. So, you know, uh, no, I don't want that. Assertive, passionate, cautious. Well, wait a minute. You're on a yellow. Why can I not? There it is. Okay. I don't know why some have it and some don't for that second player, you know? All right, we're controlling the game. You know, this is good. It's good. It's good. Couple of bookings. That's all right. Uh, Dibba. Dibba flashing that brilliant passing. Uh, we, we need to move him to midfield. Oh, it's up. Hamad. On target, another goal. He scored last match for us, remember? Hamad looking the man. 14 shots, 7 on target, 2 woodworks, 5 chances. You got to take that all day, right? And Tank, Tank with another assist. You know, Tank better be going to the press and going, man, this Cajun guy, he's the best coach we could have hired he's so awesome because i've probably changed the whole course of his career <laughs> all right pause i'm getting carried away i need to make a sub all right coffee you're the volante let's bring in uh defensive mid mid yeah you're more of a center back dude for me I can bring you in now, and then if I need to move you back, I've got Anderson that could come in. Let's do that. I like guys that can play more than one spot. Love that. You are looking shit. And now I'm not going to be able to bring that other guy in. Oh, wait, undo. Oops. I got carried away there. I had a nervous twitch and brought in the wrong guy. Just can't seem to hold it steady. All right. Two subs coming in. Tactical changes. Can RC push the right buttons? Paulson with an interception. That's fresh off the bench. I, I would say we've dominated this game just from looking at the color bars. Still think it's a Christmas match. That's cool. 
We need a score. Okay, Capozo is dead. Hamad. Mm. All right, he's looking calm. I'm going to bring in I'm going to bring in the attacker here. And give a get creative shout. We need a goal. All right, they just switched tactics on us. Uh oh, it's their highlight. Not good. Not good. Oh, the interception. All right, come on. Last chance. Push forward. Oh, Padiba. Oh, they cut off his recording time. Full time. Oh, we got the win. What was I thinking about? Yeah, that's right. We got the Hamad goal. That put us up. I was thinking we were looking at a draw there. I should have went with the defender. That was a manager not paying attention. I take full responsibility. I apologize. I will try not to let that happen again. All right, hand over to the assistant. Yeah, you can't do that to the players, man. All right, we're, we're not going to be able to do that anymore. All right, let's finish the day. A vintage display. Tankovic, you're the man. You were superb, and he liked it. All right, so schedule. All right, so we've really turned around that recent form, eh? Two wins, four goals, four, one against. We have jumped up to, uh, we're still seventh, fair enough. I thought we were, uh, I thought we had closed our goal differential down. I don't know, whatever. All right, but we are two matches left. Can we make it at, up to sixth? No, we can't. Even if we win both, we're still at 45 points. So seventh is the best we can play. And... Orobro and Gottberg, Gottborg in ninth and 10th can catch us if they win both. Now, granted, the odds of that happening are not good, but I, I think we are, and, and we need to finish in the top half. So we don't have a lot of room. Another win, I think, clinches a top half because eight would be top half. And we play Brage, who are 15th, and Halmstads, who is 11th. So we finish with a pretty good slate. Three out of four of our matches are at home, so that's good. Is there a... I thought there was something that showed attendance. I thought there was something up here that showed attendance. I'm not seeing that though. Customize current view. Ah, there it is. Attendance. Yeah, that's all I want. Yeah, cool. And can we auto size the columns? Sweet. Look, I figured out how to do something in the game, mom. <laughs> Um, all right. So, hey, you know, 18 and 15, that's certainly less than they were getting when they were losing and firing their manager before. For a few of those matches, I guess. 28,000. I mean, why aren't they coming to see me there? Huh? 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 Oh, look, Padiva scored there. Speaking of, we, I have not really paid much attention there we go. Uh, who's our who's our man? Eleven and twenty three for Petrie, six and twenty seven for Hamad. Coffee, eh? Assist wise, Tankovic, yeah, eight and twenty seven. Hamad, six and twenty seven. Need to get the assist numbers up, and I think we'll. <clears throat> Sorry about that. 
I think the assist numbers will come with uh, with the tactic changes. But I'm pretty happy, guys. What do you think? Two wins, debut, nice, nice. I think that's a good thing. Can I look at matches and still add that? Custom, customize current. Yes, I can. That's so awesome. Look what I learned. Sweet. Yes. I feel like I accomplished something today. I, you know, I made a life, a stride in life here. Learning. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll call that a video. I think two wins in our debut deserves a like for this video. So... You know, it's hard to give a target because, you know, I don't have 10 or 12 or 15,000 views of a video. And if I ever got that one day, I don't know what I would do. So let's just go for 80% of however many views I get. Let's have 80% give a like. So if we get 20, you know, we should get like 16 likes. If we get 10 views, we should get eight likes. So basically like the video if you watch it. I mean, we got two wins. That's got to be worth a like here. That'll help the video get seen by more people. Subscribe if you haven't or if you're new. And if you're new, welcome. We'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one. Bye.